After fighting stopped last Friday, the Libyan authorities took control of several unofficial detention centers previously run by a criminal network involved in trafficking and smuggling. 6,000 refugees and migrants were held in very difficult conditions. The Libyan authorities have started their transfer to official detention centers. Some 3,100 individuals have already been sent to an official detention center in the area of Dahman in Sabrata. Among them are refugee children and women. Around 1,071 illegal migrants were sent to a detention center in the city of Garyan, and 578 were sent to a detention center in Abu Aysa. And with the current numbers we have here, which are over 3,000, the total are approximately 5,000 illegal migrants who had been rounded up and arrested from smuggler herbs. We're still working on this and we expect large numbers as we have already pinpointed many other locations around the city. Some migrants are being sent on to detention centers elsewhere in western Libya that are normally under the control of the Tripoli government. IOM officials say these centers which were housing some 5,000 migrants, risk being overwhelmed by the new arrivals. Conditions in the centers are often dire and abuse is widespread. The humanitarian situation is disastrous and requires international assistance. It's the responsibility of the whole international community and not just Libya's or Sabrata's responsibility alone. The people here need medical attention, food, shelter and beddings. They also need counselors because they had been in herbs belonging to smugglers and were exposed to physical violations and other inhumane violations. Local sources have previously said that an estimated 10,000 migrants were being held in the Sabrata area. The UNHCR says it had approached Libyan authorities to ensure that refugees among the migrants were freed from detention. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.